Simply stack and press to chop, the patented stack and press design makes it easy to assemble and use. Simply press the lid to chop and release to stop. Since all you do is stack the lid on top of the bowl, no difficult twist locking is needed. Perfect size for everyday use, chop and mix up to 3 cups of ingredients every day of the week with this 3 cup chopper. It's the perfect size for everyday use, yet small enough for easy storage. Easily chop, puree and emulsify with stainless steel blades, durable stainless steel blades make easy work of a multitude of ingredients including onions, carrots and nuts. Oil dispenser on lid makes it easy to emulsify dressings, dips and sauces. Easy to clean, the bowl, lid and removable blades of the Hamilton Beach Chopper are all dishwasher safe. Power through tough ingredients, this small food chopper has a 350 watt motor to provide all the power you need to prepare all types of food including onions, nuts, herbs, hummus, dressings and homemade baby food. Hamilton Beach Food Chopper's speed food prep by handling the chopping, mincing and mixing for you. Don't let the compact, lightweight design fool you. These popular food choppers are powerful enough to take on onions, herbs, nuts, garlic and more. You can even use these food choppers to puree sauces and baby food. The Hamilton Beach Small 3-Cup Food Processor and Vegetable Chopper's stainless steel chopping blades provide powerful, reliable results. Plus, they're easy to use and clean the bowl, lid and chopping blade are dishwasher safe, and the hideaway cord cuts countertop clutter. Do not let cord hang over edge of table or counter, or touch hot surface including stove. Top Reviews from the United States A little splatter I'm not very experienced with choppers and blenders, so please take my review with a grain of salt. LOL My one and only complaint is that Therese always some splatter to clean off of the machine and my countertop after each use. I use it primarily for making smoothies. I make sure not to go past the fill line with liquids, I press down firmly on the lid while it's blending, I cover the little vent hole with a finger, I even wrap a dish towel around the entire machine while using it, all to try to minimize or avoid splatter, but nearly always, it happens anyway. It's probably just something I'm doing wrong, but as I said, it's the only complaint I have. Otherwise, I absolutely love this little Mickle. Lol.